guys. So, I am coming to you with another story time video because I just love story time videos. Like, come on, can you get any better? No. So, yes, I'm sorry if the lighting is kind of dark. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. I, I suck at lighting. Let's be honest. <laughs> Um, so yeah, let's get into the story time video. So this video takes place last year around the same time. Um, so I met this one guy at a party. Um, we will call him Daniel. I think I used Daniel in another video. We'll call him Josh. Okay, so I meet Josh at a party. Um... He was 22 at the time and I was 19. It turned out that he went to the same school as me, um, so I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Um, and he lived nearby, um, close to me. And um, so after that, we exchanged numbers and we started talking more. Um, we would hang out. Um, so... Basically everything I thought was going well. Um, I, I went to his birthday party. I think it was like a month after that after meeting him and um, my best friend came too and That seemed well and then that night when um, everyone else left um, And there was just well, I mean there was a few people left um, but like not many um, I asked him if he had a good birthday and he said to me um I don't even remember the exact words, but paraphrasing, he basically said that um, it was a good birthday because I was there. And I thought that was so adorable. Like, he would always say the cutest, nicest things to me. He once texted me, I remember this text the most, because I thought it was so cute. Um, I was at work, and I remember looking at my phone, and it said, Just a reminder, I miss you, and you're beautiful. And I just thought that was so incredibly sweet, and I was like, oh my god, this guy is so nice. Um, and he would just always, like, come by me and tell me how beautiful I was, and just things like that. I also think that maybe I just liked, um, the things that he was saying to me because, and not, like, him, because it, like, made me feel, like, good about myself. Because even I have had friends say, like, he's really not that great looking. And I'm just like, because usually, like, you know, they have to be good looking. And I'm just like, but he's so nice. And he wasn't even nice, I find out. Like, what? So, yeah. We would hang out sometimes alone, sometimes with um, some of our friends. Um, but, um, I mean, I don't know. My best friend thought that he was nice. And, you know, if he has her approval, it helps a lot <laughs> I'm like oh, okay I guess he's okay and then I think it was coming around the time of Valentine's Day and he already had plans that day um didn't make any with me um which was kind of depressing because we kind of had a, like a thing like we weren't dating but we had a thing where it was like we like would possibly date and that's another thing he like would lead me on and say like just because we're not dating now doesn't mean we won't date like in the future I'm just like okay like so that was just leading me on, obviously, because he didn't mean it. Um, and then, I don't know, I just really liked him. I really can't even say why now, because I have um, no feelings at all. I mean, it was a year ago, and I don't really think about it much. But um, when it was going around the internet about this ghosting thing, I was like, oh my god, that's what happened to me! And, um, <clears throat> so ghosting means that someone just stops talking to you or goes out of your life completely and usually um, the term is referred to right now like towards guys so um, yeah he ghosted me <laughs> basically how it happened was he started distance dis I can't talk distancing himself off more for me and I noticed that and I would question him and he wouldn't really tell me what was going on um, I know he made mentions to one of my friends um, just that he thought that I was too young and stuff like that. And I'm just thinking, um, 19 and 22, I really don't think that's that big of a deal, honestly. Like, that's three years. Um, so whatever. But I started noticing that, and we stopped hanging out for weeks. Um, and then my best friend and I, um, 
were going to go to a party and um, she invited him because um, they would talk sometimes. He was like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm down. So um, we're all going and it turns out that the party gets canceled and he like on our way there and <laughs> and so he acts totally normal like in person at the time and so um we get back to his house and um to drop him off and then uh, me and my friend are like oh hey you know do you want to just come back to Amy's house and we could just all hang out and maybe watch movies or do something and um he was like oh um I don't know. I don't think my mom's feeling well. I, I don't know what kind of excuse that is. He's like, I'm just going to go check on her really quick and then I'll let you know. He goes inside. He comes back out and he's like, no, she's really not feeling well. I don't want to leave her. I'm just like, okay. So he goes back inside. Then that night I'm texting him. Um, I'm just asking, like, you know, you were acting kind of weird. What's going on? Da, da, da. And he's not saying much to me. Um, I do remember now, which I think I had blocked out for a while, he... Um, was also texting my best friend, and, um, he made a comment to her, like, because they were talking, because she was trying to figure out why he was acting the way he was acting towards me, and, um, he made a comment to her, like, yeah, we should definitely hang out again, um, Amy doesn't have to be there next time, or, like, um, Amy doesn't have to be there every time, and I'm just thinking, bitch, are you flirting with my best friend, like, don't you dare, like, seriously, fine, you, you... I mean, not that she would, like, take him, but it's, like, she, uh, he can have her, I don't care at this point, um, he does not deserve me, um, obviously she wouldn't have done anything with him, but still, you know, um, so, that all happens, him and my best friend, I think it was the next morning, they got into a fight, he was just saying really mean things, he was saying he was done with both of us, and to never talk to him again and we weren't worth his time and I'm just thinking what is going on and he's not telling any of this to me won't talk to me really he's telling this all to her obviously knowing she's gonna say it to me and I'm just thinking how douchey is that you can't even say it to my face or my phone and so he ends up blocking both of us not on just text but like social media and I'm just like wow what a douche I have not heard seen or talked to him since then and I don't plan on it because he is a douche and he ghosted me so yeah that's the most um I mean not I mean I've been ghosted before trust me but that was the like biggest one I could think of at the moment most recent I don't, I don't really know it just sucked <laughs> I was just so upset and I didn't know what was going on why he was acting like that um, because I really liked him and it just, it really did suck. But yeah, I, I mean, obviously I don't care now. I'm over it. It's all good, but it did suck at the time. So if you've been ghosted before, I'm very sorry. Um, that's why I try not to do that to other people. If I'm just not into them or I get mad at them, I like give them an explanation. I don't just stop talking. I think everyone should do that. I don't know. Some people are just douchey, so. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like my videos. If you could subscribe to my channel if you like it, that would be amazing. Um, it would be really cool to get 100 subscribers uh, this month, February. I mean, you know, it probably won't happen, but if it did, it'd be kind of cool. Just say. So, yeah. Well, thanks so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Me and this guy, off of Tinder. We're talking for... About, like, I don't know, over a week. So, yeah. And we decided that we should meet up. So, me, being the dumb bitch that I am, was like, oh, yeah, sure. Like, cool. Like, oh, yeah, this is going to lead somewhere. It's not going to lead anywhere. Let's get out of this town. Drive out of the city.